First and foremost, before we get started, I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekah Kwadash, and the bones of those great millstones, while lunch is truth, and also to those elect that scattered abroad. I like to say, Shalom, and come back here today with another great, powerful lesson to spare the power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So the type D lesson is give them warning from me. So I like to say, Shalom, to all I listen and learn. Hope to sweep you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So before we start today's lesson, I have a few news articles, but we'll start here first with Watch a Guru. And it reads, it said, BRICS, major crash for U.S. economy has begun, expert says. Let's get a little bit more. It said, with the BRIC alliance further pursuing its de dollarization effort, a major crash for the U.S. economy has begun, according to one expert. Indeed, Robert Kiyosaki, the author of the widely acclaimed book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, took to X, formerly Twitter, to share his perspective on the state of the economy. Let's get a little bit more. He said, Kiyosaki told his followers that the crash has begun while further stating that it will be a bad one. Thereafter, he provided his user tips to cope with the trouble ahead. Moreover, his perspective is one that has been shared by many as, as expert worried for the U.S. economy uh, uh, immediate future. So we see that we're very close and, you know, we know that we're coming upon a great economic collapse. We know that the dollar is pretty much getting to be what worthless, it's getting ready to be what well, obsolete. We're seeing that these BRIC nations are constantly uh, coming to alliance. And also in the news that uh, 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 Google moves uh, jobs to uh, India and uh, Mexico. So we know that we're uh, very close. We know that, you know, they constantly land off job. They're constantly closing down what these uh, major companies, you know, Google, Amazon, you know, uh, Walgreens, Walmart and many others, you know, constantly are closing their doors, what are they are preparing for? Because they already knowing what's coming down the pipeline. We know that we're coming upon a well, a cashless society, a digital society. So right now a lot of these jobs are constantly what drying up and also in the what trunking trunking uh uh industry. You know, I think it was a it was a trucking company that was open for 95 years and they finally closed their doors. I can't think the name of that company, but anyway, we see these things are constantly are shutting down. We see that America is constantly what? Going out of business. And one thing about it, by design, it has been manufactured from what? The left-hand side, but all through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh We're not ignorant of Satan devices. And also we know that now, TikTok is in the news also, TikTok sued the U.S. government, you know, saying that, you know, it violates the uh, the First Amendment, all your freedom of speech. So that's why they constantly putting these uh, things into place like this uh, anti-Semitism uh, uh, bill. Uh, also this uh, uh, to make the Bible illegal. So we know we're coming upon this time, you know, your freedom of speech, famine of the world. A lot of things are coming down the pipeline. So right now, the opportunity is now to seek the law while he can be found. And one thing about it, how do you find him? You know, through the voice of the Lord, what the men of the Lord, the one that's making these video epistles, constantly in the highways and the byways, constantly warning you left and right, warn them for me. And who is that me? Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. So one thing about it, we're seeing that we're very close. And also, uh, I think it was just last month in Chicago, we already said about a Misa outbreak. Now we are saying, I think it was, uh, uh, middle April of last month, it was saying that there was a a TB or uh, a Turk uh, a Turk uh, a Turk a Turk of a uh, cycle is uh, so lucky for that. I'm, I'm kind of tongue tied on that TB. You understand what I'm saying? Tuberculosis. Yes, that uh, yeah, it's tongue twist. So lucky for that. But anyway, it's saying that uh, these migrants uh, are constantly coming up with the different cases in these camps around uh, Chicago, and they're keeping it kind of like close lid so this is just all the out of chaos so a lot of these people come in in this country with what a lot of different disease you know reports also you know rapers murderers and stuff like that also these sleeper cells so we got to you know constantly be watching we see that they're constantly bringing forth all sorts of different chaos also protesting uh in these uh these uh 
uh, uh, colleges around uh, uh, America. You know, so we seeing that these things are constantly picking up, and also we knowing that uh, World War Three is constantly brewing. You know, what I'm saying we seeing that a uh, uh, Putin has warned uh, NATO if they uh, if they cross the border into Ukraine, then you know that would be a declaration for war. You know, nuclear war. So you know, so this nuclear. Uh, talks have been going on left and right. Also, you know, also uh, rumors here, rumors there, mischief here, mischief there. So a lot of things are constantly what taking place. So we're seeing that these things going to constantly pick up because we're seeing that the end is being manifest. So once again, it's bricks. You know, saying major crash for U.S. economy uh, has begun. So we see it right now. You know, they already uh, uh, showing you for telling you right now is already in the Bible. Also, you know, a great crashing in the hill. So we already know that the end of the dollar is the end of America. So we are very close. So let's go to this next uh, news article right quick. Let's go here. It says here we won't go all the way in. We just read it. It says here's a Google to relocate some U.S. jobs, say, to India and Mexico. So we see it right here. You know, they're moving these jobs out because they already know that what's coming down the pipeline. You know, so a lot of people are going to be uh, homeless. A lot of people going to be unemployed, no jobs. That's why they're going to set up this universal basic income. But the only way you're going to be a part of this new uh uh, system that they get ready to put into play, you will have to take it under the skin. And when they go by the middle law, we're constantly signing crime. We're signing like a broken record, but these are the times that we're living in. So we're seeing that right now. They're announcing that they get ready to lay off, lay off 200 uh, jobs. You know, so so man, we're very close. So every time you look around, some uh, major company is closing down. All they're getting ready to lay off to not just four or five people. They laying off thousands of people pretty much every day, you know, and so we're seeing that our in infrastructure is getting very, very, what, weak. We're seeing that, you know what I'm saying, this import and export, you know, dealing with our ports, our medical supplies, our food, our water, our fuel, and, you know, and so on and so on. We're seeing, once again, the sown places, it becoming unsown. So we're seeing this place is what? It's circling the drain. Uh, America is what? It's, it's going out of business. Also, it's on the decline. So we're seeing this is happening left and right. Also, uh, there's rumors of these, this uh, measles and also this TB, uh, tuberculosis. Once again, uh, I finally got that right. It's a tw tongue twister for me. But anyway, we're seeing that that's going on in Chicago and also there's other reports in different states. So, you know, they could call a lockdown or a mandate. So that's why they keep constantly putting all these different laws into place. So we know that they want what? Total control. So I think I have one more here. Let's go here about that Chicago. We're just going to look at it. Let me see. Let's go here. ABC Chicago, some tuberculosis uh, cases confirmed among migrants in Chicago. Let's go, let's go here. We might not read none of them. You know, got to be careful, you know, because of, you know, you two. You know, we getting very close to this time where, whereby they're going to shut it down, you know. So right now it's time to seek the Lord. Family of the word is fast approaching. Let's see. Says some, says some uh, tuberculosis cases confirmed so among migrants in Chicago, health department says. So we know that we're very close. You know, it's saying that, you know, they these things are constantly picking up. Rumors upon rumors, mischief upon mischief. You know, so we seeing it happen. You know, so the second war has passed, the third will come quickly. So, you know, so all hell is about to break loose. So now let's get a quick precept before we uh, start the day's video. Let's go here. Title of the day lessons, Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 17. Before we start the video, let's go here right quick. One moment. It says here, it says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. It said, Therefore, hear the words at my mouth and give them warning from me. Yahweh. So that's what we're doing each and every day, even though we sound like a broken record, even though a lot of people are scoffing and mocking right now, constantly making fun of us, you know, constantly are saying that we're teaching hate speech, constantly saying that we are crazy, you know, so you don't know what you're talking about, you know, so, but one thing about it is, that, you know, Lord said, warn them for me, whether they were here or whether they will forbear, you know, so we're being a watchman, we're standing on our watch and also we're standing on fire for Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh so one thing about it, we are the mouthpiece of Yahweh. These are not our word. These are the word of what? The one that sent sent us, which in fact is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh He comes into what? The volume of the book. And one thing about it, that these are not our word. 
These are the words of who? Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So let's drop down to verse 27. So, you know, we, we still have a lot of people not believing. You know, they still say, oh, that's not going to happen. This is not going to happen. But we're seeing these things are constantly are manifesting right before our eyes. So the door of repentance comes to close. We're seeing that all hell is getting ready to break loose. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 27 said, said, But when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus said the Lord Power, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh He that hears, let him hear. And he that forbear, let him forbear. For they are a rebellious house to this day. So one thing about that, you know, we have a lot of our people, you know, they, they, they really don't care. You know, hey, they're going to go along with the ways of this world and they will be totally destroyed. So we already know that two part therein will be cut off and die. Only let, uh, 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 one third remnant will be saved, the house of David, the true believers of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh We already know it. the election has attained it and the rest was blinded. So we're very close to these times. And also what the second coming of our Lord and Savior and our great deliverer. We're very close and our salvation is at the door. So we'll start today's video. And after the video, we'll start the lesson. And I hope that you will get edified. Well, guys, experts are saying America is right around the corner from almost being a third world country. They're saying major crash for U.S. economy has begun. Experts say, they're saying that the American dollar is about to be valued to zero. And uh, Bitcoin, they're doing a meeting now, whereas they're trying to see if they're going to do digital or they... So they are literally collapsing. NATO's in a panic. Macron's talking about sending troops. Poland's talking about sending troops. And Russia's saying, I don't know how many times we have to tell you, if NATO troops show up on Ukrainian soil, we're going to nuke you. We're going to nuke you. Okay, we're going to take you out. Not your troops in Ukraine. We're going to nuke the decision-making centers. Russia isn't bluffing. I hope the people watching right now are getting cold sweats right now because the world's over at this point, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, it's over. It's game, set, match. It's done. Whatever plans you had for the summer, they're canceled. Whatever Christmas plans you had, forget about it. So get scared. Start calling people and saying, what the hell are you doing, Tony Blinken? Biden, get on the phone to Macron and tell him to shut up and sit down. The same thing with the polls, because this is it. Russia is getting ready to exercise the use of tactical nuclear weapons in the Southern Military District. Okay, that means that if NATO troops are deployed because the Ukrainian army is collapsing as we speak. And Macron has said it's his red line. And uh, if they collapse, I have no choice, he says, but to send French troops in. Well, the Russians will kill them, but then they're going to nuke France. So there we are. This is about as serious as it gets. And yet we are sleepwalking. We we are sound asleep. Nobody, nobody in America cares. Well, Scott, TikTok has sued the U.S. government, saying that the ban that the U.S. government is imposing violates the First Amendment. They also say that invoking national security concerns is not a good enough reason to restrict this free speech for the 170 million Americans, they say, are on the platform. I just want to mention two key uh, things here from this lawsuit. They say that the Protecting Americans from Foreign Adversary Controlled Applications Act is unconstitutional and that banning a TikTok is, quote, so obviously unconstitutional, in fact, that even the act sponsors recognize that reality and have tried mightily to depict the law not as a ban at all, but as a regulation of TikTok's ownership. They go on to say that um, there's no choice to divest TikTok. They say the qualified divestiture demanded by the act to allow TikTok to continue to continue operating in the United States is simply not possible, not commercially, not technologically, not legally, and certainly not on the 270-day timeline required by the act. So what they're saying here is that the option of divesting is not really an option. This is, in effect, a ban, and that is the underlying um, argument here in this lawsuit against the U.S. government. Whoa, now I was handing with y'all out to check this out. Mm -mm -mm, here we go again. If it ain't one bank, it's another. Breaking news like always. So I guess out in Chicago, they have a tuberculosis outbreak. Now, you got health officials out there trying to track and see where this shit went and trying to see how many people got them caught it. And guess where they, guess where they tracked it back to? Several migrant shelters. Several migrant shelters, and they're keeping it on the wrap so they're not giving you the name of the shelters. Now, all of this goes back to old Joe Biden ass. Got the border wide open, 
ain't doing no health screening and nothing on these folks that they bringing in here, putting on the goddamn streets. On top of that, when these shelters get tired of the migrants and, they, and, 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 and or the shelters are too full, they putting them inside the kids' school. Now, I'm willing to bet 99.99999% that when they do get the migrants out of these schools, they're not doing a thorough clean on them. So guess what? Your kids go to that school. Guess what? When you're walking on the sidewalk, if a motherfucker been coughing, sneezing, and all that shit, it's in the air. Because one thing about tuberculosis, it gets in the lungs. Get your bad cough. So we already know that we're very close. You know, they can call any type of lockdown, a mandate. So we're seeing what happened in Chicago and other other cities across America, in these major cities. Heavily uh, people of color populated, you know, populated People of color, you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? So, you know, so we know that Jacob's trouble is at the door, so we are very close to all hell breaking loose. So we're seeing that, you know, we that, that's what we're constantly doing, warning you, you know, left and right. These these events are constantly taking place, left and right, evils are on every side. So we'll start the daily lesson. So we seeing that, hey man, in a given time, you know, hey, we're very close. When they say peace and safety, then total destruction will come upon us. Let's start today's uh lesson. Start here in uh Jeremiah chapter 51, we'll start at verse 45. And it reads, said, My people said, Go ye out of the midst of her, and deliver ye every man his soul from the fierce anger of the Lord. So we got to come out of this place spiritually. Also, we know that the Lord is come is going to come from the east to the west and that what that great fathership and hoping that we're part of that great number. You know what I'm saying? We know that the Lord is getting ready to return. We know that he's getting ready to bring forth massive judgment. So, this, you know, we got to come out of her spiritually. You know what I'm saying? This place is polluted. And one thing about it is that if you're not getting beamed up, you're getting burnt up. So we're, we're very close to this time. America will be totally destroyed. We're seeing that America is constantly what uh it's through it is finished it's washed up there's no coming back verse 46 and said and and unless your heart faint and your fear and and ye fear for the rumor that shall be heard in the land a rumor shall both come in one year and after that in another year shall come a rumor and violence in the land rulers against rulers so that's what we're seeing right now rumors upon rumors mischief here mischief there we're seeing that nation is rising against nation we're seeing that nation is divided we're seeing all sorts of protesting rioting uproars of the peoples a lot of things are constantly have civil unrest and also rumors of what a civil war and also what a great time of trouble that we have never seen before and also uh the love of many is constantly waxing cold all sorts of what senseless death you know that spirit of vengeance is working overtime right now lord is bringing forth judgment in the middle law we're constantly signing and crying left and right many is getting ready to be taken in a great number amen we're seeing it happening right before our eyes so now let's go to our last let's go here to zephaniah let's go here to zephaniah chapter one zephaniah chapter one because this is where we at zephaniah chapter one we start up at verse uh zephaniah chapter one and verse ten it said Say, and it shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord, that there shall be the noise of a cry from the fish gate and a howling from the second and a great crashing from the hill. So we already know in that first clip that whereby, you know, they saying that it's already uh, but they saying major crash for the U.S. economy uh, has begun. So we see that that's that that great crashing in the hill, a great economic collapse, the stock market. You know, your money will be obsolete. And one thing about it, a lot of people going to be making bank runs. A lot of people have a, a what great desperation. You know what I'm saying? So we hear it. You know, we already know what happened in uh, we're doing the Great Depression, 29 through 32 and also in 08. So it's going to be worse than the, the recession of 08. It's going to be worse than the depression. It's going to be a time of trouble that we've never seen before. A lot of people saying they still think they have a, you know, their job, you know, they're eating good, you know, they still have their finance, their family still in order. But one thing about it, you know, when they say peace and security, all hell is getting ready to break loose. Uh, verse 11 says, how ye inhabitants of Mactosh, for all the merchants, People are cut down. All they that bear silver are cut off. Just talking about an ancient uh, a stock market back in ancient time, you know. So there's no new thing under the sun. You know, it was cut off back then. You know, dry it up. It's going to be dried up now. You know, every kingdom has a rise and a fall. So we read upon the fall of America. And also what? The end of the dollar is the end of America. So we're very, cro cro uh, very close to that what crashing in the hill. Verse 12, it said, And it shall come to pass that uh, that time, 
at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leaves that say in their heart, the Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. So right now we have a lot of people still a scarving in mouth. You know, they still are, are not considered, still are going on with their daily life, still thinking that they're a good case because they have plenty right now. Plenty, you know, but one thing about the Lord's getting ready to cut off the staff of the bread, your necessity, your well life is getting ready to change. America's getting ready to be a third world country and also a war zone. You know what I'm saying? With these uh, Russia and China troops, these sleepers there, you know, in collaboration with the EU and NATO. So all these things are getting ready to happen. It's already been prophesied. While you're sleeping, the devil is constantly getting busy. So we're seeing right now a lot of people right now uh, are, are relaxing in their lease in the house of America. Not considering. And the day is constantly approaching. You know, the Lord said he will come like a thief in the night. Hey, man, a lot of people in for a rude awakening. Verse 13 said, therefore, uh, their goods shall become a booty and their houses a desolation. They shall also build houses, but not inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards, uh, but not drink the wine thereof. So we're seeing that right now. We're seeing that America is constantly, what, drying up. Constantly on the decline, constantly collapsing all over the place. Verse 14 said, the great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hasten greatly. So even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man shall cry there uh, bitterly. So hey, a lot of people going to be hey, doing a lot of vaccination spirit very soon. We getting very close. The end is being manifested right before our eyes. We're living in the end time, real time. Verse 15 said, that day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble. And distress, a day of, of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of, of clouds and thick darkness. So the Lord's going to return in the midst of World War Three. The Ezekiel chapter 38 war is constantly lining up just like clock when the Lord is gathering the nation. We're seeing what's going on with Hamas and uh, in Israel, you know, seeing things that are picking up between uh, uh, Russia and uh, Ukraine, you know, and Taiwan and uh, China. A lot of things are getting ready to happen. You know, war is just pretty much in every place. Everyone is preparing for war. And one thing about it, we're seeing that we're very close. You know, a lot of people knowing that something is coming down the pipeline. So one thing about it, when the Lord show up in the midst of World War Three, it's going to be a day of gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, you know, because of what all this... Uh, thermonuclear uh exchange you know it's all this radio uh activity and debris will be thrown up into the air so so the day of the lord is going to be one of the, the day that you have never seen before but one thing about it the lord is going to return and set everything back into order verse 16 said a day a day of the trumpets and alarm against the fenced city and against the high towers verse 17 and said and i will bring distress upon men and they shall Walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord and and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as dung. So we know that the body count will be great. So a lot of people right now uh, still are not believing, still don't have faith, you know, and constantly are doing all sorts of abominations, sin upon sin. And one thing about it, they're going to be walking like blind men. They're going to be bugged out of their damn minds because one, one thing about it, they did not seek the Lord while he could be found. And one thing about it, a lot of people going to be crying and weeping, great persecution, great death and destruction. It's right. It's getting ready to befall us. But I know that the truth is that they don't want to hear that. They want to hear them smooth lie. Everything would be all right. The Lord loves everyone. Everyone can be saved. Those are total lies. And one thing about it, the truth is being declared right now, whether you will hear or whether you will forbear. Verse 18 said, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he will he shall make even a speedy witness of all them that dwell in the land. So one thing about it is that, you know, neither your silver or your gold. So you already, they already predict the, the crash is coming. You know, that great crashing in the hill, the great economic collapse. So the fiat currency, the petrol dollar is getting ready to be a thing of the past. It's going to be obsolete. It's getting ready to be worthless. So a lot of people, it will become a stumbling block to you. Because right now, a lot of people think they have plenty. Doom they prepper. You know, they have money in the bank. You know, so I'm good. I have a, I have a, 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 a underground bunker. But one thing about it, the Lord is not dealing with you. You you're going to die. And one thing about it is that we're seeing that the Lord is getting ready to do a mighty work. So right now, when you go to the, when it said the fire of his jealousy, it's talking about these IBCM missiles. You know, they're going to hit America and destroy it in one hour. The indignation, 
of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh So it's going to be a nuclear exchange. And also Israel will be totally destroyed. But one thing about it, it will be rebuilt. You know what I'm saying? The Lord got to cleanse that land. One thing about it, America will be totally destroyed. There will be no inhabitant left here. That's why the Lord said he's going to make a speedy witness of this place. You know what I'm saying? A quick work, you know, uh, what through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh So we are very close to this time. And we, we're giving you warning left and right. What do you will hear or what do you will for Barakah? Hey, it's coming. It's coming to a close. We're seeing that we're very close. You know what I'm saying? To this great time of trouble. Jacob's trouble is very close. So now let's go to our last and final script. Let's go here to uh Second Aries chapter 14. And we'll close out here. Second Aries chapter 14. And we'll start up at verse 13. Second Aries chapter 14 and verse uh, 13 he said said now therefore set thy house in order and reprove thy people comfort such of them as be in trouble and now renounce corruption you no know, examine yourself you know make sure that you're in the faith and one thing about it wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of the time so get your house in order get your mind right the lord's getting ready to return we're seeing that we're very close and also our salvation is at the door verse 14 said let go from thee martyr thoughts cast away the burdens of man Put off now the weak nature. So a lot of people, you know, don't have faith. A lot of people are weak, effeminate, afraid, uh, scared to stand up against the workers of iniquity. The Lord is not dealing with that. You know, it's time to gird up your law. You know what I'm saying? Get prepared. You know what I'm saying? Because what? A great uh, great power beyond your comprehension is getting ready to crack those clouds. And one thing about it, we knowing that the Lord is getting ready to return. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is getting ready to it meant to show, do a mighty work. And we're very excited. So let go of the modern thought. Let go of this word. The Lord said, come out of her, my people. This is not your rest. Come out of her spiritually. Have a renewing of the mind. Wisdom and knowledge, once again, shall be the stability of the time. Also, the Lord's name shall be a stronghold in times of trouble. Will be a safe haven for what? The house of David, the true believers of Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh. So right now, let go of the modern thought. The Lord ain't dealing with no weak. Weak men or weak women, afraid, effeminate. You know what I'm saying? Not dealing with none of that. The Lord's going to totally destroy you. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it, Lord, Lord don't give us the, the spirit of fear. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it, Lord, give us a sound mind. And one thing about it, you know, we're constantly watching, praying, and constantly what? Leaning not on our own understanding. But we are trusting and believing in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh The Lord's getting ready to return. The Lord is getting ready to provide for, and also he's getting ready to sustain us, you know, in ways that you do not know how, as supernatural intervention. When the enemy come in, when the enemy come in like a flood, the Lord is going to lift up that standard. You know, spiritual power is right around the corner. Stand still and let what? Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai. The Lord is getting ready to do a mighty work. So now let's go here. Verse 15, it said, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. And haste thee to flee from these times. So one thing about it, hey man, let go of things things that are weighing you down. You know the the cares of this world. You know uh, the uh, things that you think that is important to you. You know the wisdom of this world, foolishness to Yahweh. By Hashem, I'm saying you still are seeking the bad. You still are trying to accomplish something here. It will be no inhabited left in this place. It's getting ready to be totally destroyed. It's time to run and seek your true power while he can be. Be found because one thing about it, hey man, the, the door of repentance is closing right before I die. the end is being manifest. So now, uh, verse 16, second Aries chapter 14, and verse 16 said, For yet greater evils uh, than these which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. So that's what we see here, right? The evils are growing all around us, you know, perilous times are upon us. One thing about it, it's going to get very, very uh, critical, very, very dangerous. You know, so one thing about it, Jacob's trouble, very close. Uh, verse 17 said, for, for look how much the world shall be weaker through age, so much uh, the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. We're seeing that right now. Verse 18 said, for the time is fled for away and leasing or lying is hard at hand. For now hasten the vision, the signs of the time, or the prophecy to come, which thou hast seen. You know, so at the end it shall speak and not lie. No, it's not tearing anymore. It's not delaying anymore. We're seeing that the Lord is constantly what? Accelerating time. We're seeing that these prophecies are constantly lining up just like clockwork. We're almost at that sad measure. We're knowing that the Lord is getting ready to uh, cut uh, these heathen nations, oh, you know, starting with Esau, Edom. And one thing about it, you know, we know the Lord is getting ready to set the record straight. And also the Lord is getting ready to bring forth the kingdom of heaven that dwells in righteousness. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is give them warning from me. So I like to give all praises 
and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekha Kwadash, I like to say, Shalom, Shalom.